हेलो एवरी वन वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर ईशानी त्रिवेदी फ्रॉम एल जे इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी इट्स बींग सिविल इंजीनियर एंड वेन यू आर इन दिस सेमेस्टर देन यू शुड नो दैट वॉट डू वी टॉक अबाउट वेन वी से कंस्ट्रक्शन इक्विपमेंट राइट नाउ बींग ए सिविल इंजीनियर कंस्ट्रक्शन इज द मेजर part major field of uh, of your uh, whatsoever branch you are opting in future because we know that in whichever field you are going to go in whichever uh, whichever work you are going to opt for being a civil engineer construction is going to be a major part an inevitable part of your uh, whatsoever branches or fields you select because if you talk about a small building it is construction if you talk about a large bridge then it is construction if you talk about retaining wall then it is again construction so uh whatever type of structure whatever type of building whatever kind of infrastructure you are developing construction is going to be an inevitable part in everything right now to carry out this construction work to carry out this construction process it is not possible that we can do it completely manually right uh just with the help of manpower it is not possible so you are always going to require some mechanical equipment right now equipment if i say in simple terms if i say then let me call it as a machine right so uh equipment is uh, also again an essential part i am going to say not uh, inevitable but it is a, it is an essential part of any kind of construction industry right so the equipment which you are going to study here will be related to different construction uh, methodologies and different purposes of the work like say excavation or even demolition or for construction or for concrete mixing for material preparation right uh, or for transportation or for surveying for all of these purposes you require some or the other equipment and that is what is going to be studied in detail along with the finance right now when you talk about the equipment it's not just you are going to study different types of equipment but you are also going to talk about the finance related to equipment that how you are going to if you are going to purchase it if you are going to hire it and what will be the cost that will be uh, faced then what will be the cost that have to be discussed so students uh, let us start now Uh, so first of all, I am going to show you a basic difference between uh, manual uh, type of equipment, manually operated equipment, and automation. Okay. Now, uh, look at the images flashing over here. We can see that uh, uh, in the left image, we can see that there are number of construction equipment shown over here along with their names. Uh, now i think students if i am not wrong then you have seen all these types of equipment on site on road everywhere around where construction sites are currently ongoing you would have seen all these type of equipment if i am not wrong then you know about the excavator you know about the bulldozer you know about the uh, concrete mixers the dumpers right transportation trucks uh, forklift i think all of these equipments are very much similar to you right uh apart from them we also have certain other type of uh, equipment uh, uh, different construction equipment which we are going to study and on the right image which you can see is uh, something uh, uh, i think it may be a little hypothetical for now because currently uh, advancement and uh, discoveries are going on inventions are going on in the automation section uh, but if you see that uh in the right image you can see that it is completely automated it means uh, starting from the engineer who is going to work that is robotic right you can see a robot is over here and starting from that up to the last work right up to from from starting from the planning designing and construction and execution all of these things will be done automatically with the help of robotics that is your automation part so the basic difference you can see over here is uh, in the left the, in the traditional equipment uh, manpower is required compulsory and he is going to operate it and he is going to carry out the function whatsoever uh, while in the automation part it will be completely robotics 
If I give you an example of a concrete 3D printer, uh, 3D printing technology currently is uh, being utilized everywhere around the country in, in different uh, aspects, not just civil engineering, but in different, uh, let us say that in dentistry also, currently 3D printed models are being prepared and same is the case in the concrete uh, structures also. So that is completely somewhat I am talking about is robotics, which will be studied further in detail in your uh, sessions also. Okay, so uh, students uh, also please note that if you if I talk about excavator, if I talk about bulldozer, then JCB, if you say JCB, then it is just a manufacturing company, right? What we are concerned with is the names of the equipment. We are going to call it as a backhoe loader or you will call it as forklift or you will call it ex excavator or bulldozer, right? There will be different types of blades in the dozer, okay? So please note that we are concerned with the actual names of the equipment, okay? Uh, let us move for forward. Uh, again, I am demonstrating you students over here that how uh, the manual and the automation, how they differ from each other. I think uh, the video clips which are running over here is going to make it very much clear in your mind directly even without explaining. Uh, let us have a look in it. Uh, so to the left most you can see that uh, an excavator is excavating the soil, it is, it, it is moving earth, it is moving the soil and a man is operating from the operating chamber where the controls will be given and this is how the work is performed. Same is the case in the down image. Uh, while in the automated part, right, in the right side the video clip which are running, uh, we can see that uh, uh, the full concrete structure is being automatically made with the help of a robotic arm. This is what I was talking about 3D printing technology uh, for concrete structures, right. In the bottom video clip which is running, you can see that automatically the brick masonry wall is being constructed. Brick by brick construction is being done with the help of robotic arm and the equipment which is operated automatically. It means the commands will be given inside, software will be built in inside and the commands will be given and this work shall be performed. So uh, there are lots of automation currently going on in the construction industry which we will study for the in detail this is for the uh, your full outcome of the syllabus uh, it is completely construction equipment and automation part now let us move forward uh, what do we have over here now uh, it says that uh, what is the course outcome right uh, what we are going to exactly derive from this subject what we are going to exactly extract from this subject right it says we are going to talk about different construction equipment as I told you the equipment will be, shall be divided into different categories right uh, it will be uh, a special equipment or it will be standard equipment uh, and then it, it will be based on its construction procedure that if it is continuous or if it is intermittent right so based on that different type of construction equipment shall be discussed in detail and along with that we will also talk about the cost of its purchasing of its hiring how you are going you are supposed to manage the finance related to the same how you can uh, also lease the equipment you can rent the equipment how you are supposed to calculate using various uh, uh, different formulas right so all of these will be discussed in the uh, construction equipment part and while in the automation part we are going to specifically talk about the first important automated structure that is drones. Now students uh, for the photography purposes I think you have used drones you know what are drones uh, if you have seen that in the occasions in the wedding occasions drones are being used uh, for the photography purposes right. Uh, there are lots of places but here specifically how will you utilize that in civil engineering right it will be specifically used for the purpose of surveying for surveying a land for surveying the site instead of carrying out the manual work and uh, the, the basics which you have studied in the survey we are going to carry out this full work with the help of drones and then it will be converted to aerial images uh, here GIS that is geographical information system will also be used together 
and this is how it is going to work and then we'll be talking about 3d printing technology uh, for the concrete structures and at last we are going to talk about the uh, the most recent uh, ongoing work in the construction industry that is bim uh, it means building information modeling it it simply means that the use of software in various construction sector and thus making it automated now let us talk about further uh, what are the objectives of your course that uh, see students in this session i am going to give you a brief idea about full syllabus right because this subject is new because automation is being studied for the first time by you it is necessary to know that what you are going to study what you are up to right because if i directly start the chapter then i think it it will not be uh, giving justice to you so you are supposed to first understand in this lecture that what are the things which you are exactly going to study and why now next uh, this course the objectives uh, i i have uh, made it short to myself uh, by myself to, so that you can understand that what are the exact objectives over here so as i told you that uh, construction equipment uh, it will be going to it is going to illustrate the characteristics and complexities involved right because uh, the way i am putting up right now the way i am talking about it is not that simple you have to go in depth in equipment because uh, if i say that for the full construction project around 70 to 80% uh, role will be of the equipment more uh, more equipment availability and uh, more the advanced technology uh, better the work and better the efficiency and better output you are going to gain Uh, i am also showing you a clip over here of the drones which i was talking about you have seen the normal standard i standard uh, drones till now but here uh, aerial mapping aerial survey will be done with the help of photogrammetry uh, you have studied certain terms and basic things in the surveying and here with the help of that it will be applied in the drones and uh, the mapping will be done for the particular area the survey will be done that is the model regarding the drones right and the last which we are going to have is as i told you bim it is also uh, about the virtual reality augmented reality students i know that you have heard this word virtual reality it means it gives you a virtual tour virtual tour of the plan of the structure which you are going to make so that instead of uh, uh, having a 3d image or a 2d image this gives you a full imaginable virtual image that how this construction is going to be done the model can be seen with the help of virtual reality and there are lots of techniques regarding the same so these are the basic objectives which you are going to uh, derive from this particular subject now next i am going to talk about uh, the construction uh, equipment uh, different types and its unique features right let us see that what do we have over here i am going to flash all the points uh, let us conclude today with the construction equipment part so here we have a so uh, as i told you already that success of any construction depends upon the type of equipment i already told you that 70 to 80% it will be dependent on equipment its advancement the technology used because uh, you need as much output as much as possible so here uh, what do we have is uh, the classification of equipment again now classification will be done based on its operating based on its nature based on its work okay based on its operating we can have continuous type and intermittent type we will study the full classification in detail in the next session as well uh, then we have uh, standardized and uh, special type of equipment right if i talk about a conventional uh, concrete mixer then it is a standard equipment it is going to remain the same all over the country but if i talk about a special equipment uh, like a belt conveyor then belt conveyor will be uh, varying in size in length right it, uh, everything will be differing based on the requirements hence in that case it is going to be considered as a special equipment this is how you differentiate your standard and special equipment 
then what do we have is uh, we have work can be completed fast and cost is reduced this is but obvious thing as i i think after listening to full lecture today's lecture you, know, you will be able to write down these points on your own also that how construction equipment uh, have different features and what special uh, things can be achieved using this different type of equipment then excavation will be rapid with the help of power shovel as com as compared to the manual excavation uh, the shovel the, the uh, mechanically operated shovel will give you faster work as compared to normal work uh, transportation will be easier yes you know about transportation these are the uh, features right work will be faster than about transportation then about excavation then about lifting equipments uh, for lifting the heavy loads we have cranes uh, currently in your city in your Ahmedabad city you would have seen that uh, almost every construction site is using cranes for lifting the heavy loads and the finishing work right that is the compaction work for the bituminous road for the concrete roads you have seen that rollers uh, are very much inevitable it is useful so the last which we are going to have is concrete mixers uh, i think students you are already aware with what is concrete mixers and uh, how different types of uh, material are worked together uh, to form the concrete mixture to form the standard concrete mixture and uh, the mixers are depending upon its size uh, it depends on the site uh, and its capacity next we are going to talk students about the unique features regarding the uh, automation right now uh, as i discussed about the unique features of the uh, standard the traditional construction equipment likewise there are certain unique features which are uh, recognized with the automation part right for the automated equipment what are going to be the unique features what will be the major outcome and the aspects in which uh, you are going to achieve uh, certain special or say even more output right so what we have over here is uh, autonomous machines right the automatic machine the autonomous machines which are uh, generally classified as self-driving machines and robotic technology machines in which sensors will be mounted so a uh, self-driving machine means if you are talking about a power shovel or you are talking about excavator then you can have automated or autonomous machine in which it will be a self-driving equipment and a manpower will not be required now here there is also one drawback that the labor work will be reduced but uh, uh, in, in place of that you can have even laborers so who will be working to uh, achieve this type of work so it is going to be balanced. Uh, next you have is uh, robotic technologies and the sensor based sensor mounted you can uh, have that uh, if the work should be done for the limited period of time uh, you can mount the sensors. And then we have is drones which we have already discussed about robotics uh, especially robotics will be done in the concreting works uh, see there is a, a feature right for the excavation work we will have autonomous machines for the concreting work we have uh, 3d printers that is robotics it, exactly it is robotics for surveying work we have drones and for the virtual realities that is during the uh, project planning and training when you want to give your client a virtual tour of what you are going to construct then here virtual or augmented reality and BIM that is building information modeling you have different type of uh, software that is AutoCAD and Revit, uh, Revit uh, 3D Max you have right there are different softwares in which you under which you can work that will be your building information modeling okay students so uh, let us keep up to here now today uh, in which we have discussed about the full subject that what is going to be the outcome and what you are going to study and uh, where you are heading to in this subject uh, so we will discuss from the uh, in, from the topics module wise and your syllabus wise from the next session uh, have a good day students thank you